finally have a VP for Biden. That's why we're celebrating. So welcome to We Got Issues Girl. We are a weekly podcast for women who are curious about politics. And Sky was supposed to be on vacation, so we weren't even going to do an episode today. Um, but here we are, because breaking news, we've got some exciting announcements to make. Oh, my name is Carrie Hartman. And my name is Sky Beckwith. And we've got issues. And we've got a VP. And we've got a presidential nominee. Yes. And we're so excited about her. Kamala Harris was just announced. So Sky and I just decided to hop on here real quick to talk about how wonderful she is and how excited we are that, one, we can finally get excited about Joe Biden because maybe we weren't excited about him before, even though we were going to vote for him. But, you know, yeah. it just was just hard to get excited for. Um, so how do you feel about it, Sky? Are you I excited about it? Long it yes, I'm yeah. so excited. I've been rooting for her. She's a badass. Um, and I feel like every we we've said this before. Every week we would start, it's like, okay, oh, hey, this is gonna be the week. All right, yeah. Biden's gonna win out this week for the past like five friggin' weeks. Yeah. So I'm very excited. Yeah. Was she your yep, top man. Pick? I can't I can't stand up. What? Was she your top pick? Um, no, I think Stacey Abrams was my top pick. Because we yeah. saw her in person, and I just loved yeah. her book, and I love what she's doing around voting rights stuff. But I love Kamala Harris. I'm I very excited too. about her. I do too. Yeah. See, I don't. I mean, she wasn't my top pick in the primary. I think we. Um. I mean, we made it pretty clear that we uh, liked Elizabeth w Warren in the primary, and I think Elizabeth Warren would have made a great um, VP too. But the more we have this conversation about representation and. Black Lives Matter, and uh, you know, we we continue to have these these black women even just on our show talking to us about how important representation is. It, I kind of was like, all right, like yeah. it should definitely be a black woman, and to have it be Kamala, I'm yeah. super excited about because her performance in the primary debates were like just phenomenal. She is just a baddie, like she is incredible and so i think it's really exciting i'm i'm super excited to get involved now i'm pumped i'm before i was like not really that pumped and now i'm like ready like let's oh, no. do this let's game on let's right do this. so Oof, one yeah. thing that i did I'm see ready. on twitter do you think that trump will ditch pence and get a different running mate oh that would be hilarious i can just picture mike pence's like frowny face mother mother may i like just oh he's so awful oh i know God. but can I you imagine him, well. him debating her like there's no way he I can know. debate kamala harris right like oh my god uh, i just i look for the day when that happens i think that would be hilarious yeah i don't i just can't imagine trump would ditch pence at this point Although, I, don't I don't know he's off the rails yeah so, true maybe true Hi, everybody in the comments. Jackie, Jacqueline, Dave. Oh, your dad. Uh, Al. Al Bannister, yeah. who works for Joe Biden. So I bet he, this is a really good day for him. Um, Jacqueline yeah. says that Warren had likability issues, which is true. But like, I also feel like likability issues are something all women face. I faced it in my own little yeah. campaign last year. And I don't know if you saw, but in our own local paper this past week, the editorial board posted or um had a uh editorial about kamala mm -hmm. being too ambitious and joe biden basically shouldn't choose her because oh, she's oh, so oh, ambitious I, because she ran for president and that means she's too ambitious or something as if like women being yeah. too ambitious is a bad thing and so i don't know if you saw this but shout out to uh mallory mcmaster she wrote um a response to that and it was published today so you can see it online um we can link to it too but yeah. Uh, public, a response. Yeah, sure. She was a friend of ours um, from the NARAL Pro Choice Board when Sky um, and I were on that board. But she posted a re or uh, submitted a response that was really good yeah. because women can be ambitious. <laughs> like we, yeah. 
are not a threat just because we are ambitious. Like Kamala is well, and the whole theory behind Joe's VP pick was that it's going to be someone who will take over next term, right? Like, yeah. so you want someone who's young and ambitious, someone who is presidential. I mean, this yeah. is the perfect pick for me. Yeah, I agree, and I, I mean. So let's talk about it, too, because I know that people have criticism about Kamala and and particularly her time spent as a prosecutor and attorney general in California. Um, she's now a senator mm-hmm. in California from California. Um, I realize the criticism there. I see it. Um, I, I, I think this goes back to like, I don't know if we will ever have a perfect candidate that everyone can just think like, okay, this person is the most perfect candidate. There are no flaws ever. Uh, You know, like that just doesn't happen. People are going to find flaws no matter what. And I think that um, you have to think of this as more you're voting. What, what is best for society? What is best for the greatest, the greatest good? How can we achieve the most good? And even when our choices are not, perfect right and that that was kind of how we always felt about biden being the nominee um yeah. i like him a lot better now that he chose kamala though i will tell you that right now so i mean i i think we got to get over this fact that we're finding like the perfect one like the perfect one this is not right, right. your lifetime partner and this is not your husband <laughs> like this is just yeah, the president yeah. and they only are going to be there for four years unless we reelect them for another four years so we don't need yeah. right now. We don't need perfect. We just need not Trump, honestly. Like, yes, let's just and that's what, do this. Yeah, yeah. That's what that's, I get so I get frustrated with from these folks who are like never Biden. Yeah, you are going to, you know, people who vote for Donald Trump are obviously going to be at fault for electing Donald Trump. But right. like, we have to have some kind of force against yeah. him, and we have to come together on it because yeah. we just can't continue like this. Hi, yeah, Alexis. I'm, Hi, um, Heather. Heather. And my dad just point out that Joe ran against Obama in the primaries. Yeah. And he wasn't too ambitious no. to be no. vice president. No. Give me a break. It just, just all goes back to this likability factor for women. We got to get over it. So yeah. I feel like likability is, is always like, uh, yeah. The men run organizations use it as a dog whistle. Absolutely. And so until we get more women to run and more women in power, I, I think that's always going to be something that they use to kind of diminish our mm-hmm. our value and our worth. Um, Kamala Harris is yeah. only the second woman, Democratic woman on a on a ticket. She's the only the second or I shouldn't I'm saying that wrong. She's the only second VP for the Democratic ticket. Obviously, the woman on right. the had a ticket last year was Hillary. Let's not forget about Hillary. <laughs> um, so this is pretty trailblazing. The first woman was uh, Geraldine Ferraro. Geraldine Ferraro, right? Yeah. And that was like a really yeah. long time ago. Yeah. So it's crazy that it's taken this long to have a female VP, you know, since then. I was just reading a um, a podcast called Presidential that I like, and they did a special episode kind of about um, Geraldine Ferraro and like the choice. Um uh, of having her on the ticket, which was amazing. But then like, it's taken how long to have another female yeah. vice president until now. It's crazy. Um, let's yeah. not, let's not forget about Sarah Palin though, because John McCain did oh. choose her as the running mate in 2012 in hindsight, perhaps not the best choice, but, um, you know, not, they, not they, great. Did it. <laughs> they had a woman. So that's good that. for that. Um, <laughs> something special about Kamala though, is that she is the first black woman on the ticket, which is very exciting and very necessary and about damn time. Right. So, yeah. um, yeah. yeah, she, and she's also biracial. I don't know if, um, a lot of people know this too. She is Indian and Jamaican. Ooh, so okay. I don't know if you follow her on Instagram or Twitter. Um, but she like she she's just super cool she's super cool please follow her i mean i think this is it's definitely what i needed for like this a boost to feel better about oh. like <laughs> this election and feel excited oh. for it and i'm feeling i'm feeling good i'm feeling good yeah are you feeling good okay good i am feeling good i mean i'm i've got a party hat now and 
and a little a little party. <laughs> We're very I'm excited gonna make, about this. I'm gonna put Kamala on my party hat. Yes. Um, Just get her face. Also, I speaking of um her social media that I like to follow because she is great on Twitter, great on Instagram. But her niece, Nina Harris is also very cool to follow on both Twitter and Instagram. And we can um, link in um, in the show notes to their accounts. But um, Mina Harris has this organization called Phenomenal Woman, and they have really cool T-shirts and sweatshirts, but it's a pack, actually. Um, So it's it's a pretty cool organization, but great people to follow on social media. Um, Yeah, I think I followed them after you shared one of their hoodies or you bought one of their hoodies or something. And I didn't realize that that was her niece. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. And I just love the way Kamala like fucking claps back at people who get at her on Twitter and and Instagram and Facebook. Like she doesn't take any shit, which I really appreciate. I love that, too. I, I love that, too. I'm 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 super excited about this. So. Um, we just wanted to pop on here quick and, and, um, you know, chat. How oh, hi everybody. Hi, Erin in the comments. Um, so hi. today is a big primary day, uh, for some states, mm-hmm. Connecticut, Minnesota, Vermont, Wisconsin. Um, so get wow. out and vote if any of you guys are in, in those states. Um, yeah, we, uh, we've got a lot to, of ground to work to do here in Ohio. So Sky and I are planning yeah. Actually, I'm just going to say it, even though I'm like, I'm sort of still just okay. it. Um, so <laughs> we thought Juice Girl is going to have a 60-day action plan for our listeners. And so tomorrow, um, if you go to our website, which I think is wegotissuespod.com, uh, there will be a blog post on there that you can sign up um, your email. And so then starting 60 days before the election, you're going to get a daily email of an action item that you can do. And it may be as small as like sharing something on social media, or it may be really big, like registering people to vote or ha- passing out absentee um, applications to people. So we, um, we, I continue to get questions about like, how can I get involved? What can I do? Um, so we'll kind of try to do it very broad, but we also are going to feature some of um, the candidates that we've had on as guests and then candidates in the future too. Like next week, we're going to have Nancy Larson, who's running for Ohio State Representative. Um, we're going to have Lori Olander, who's running for judge on. Um, and so just some great candidates that we can help out and help support too, because as excited as we are about Kamala, uh, we also have races down the ballot that we need to support yeah. and need to, need to get in. So um, I'm excited about this action plan. I hope um, more people get involved too. And um, Sky and I have just been coming up with um, new ideas to reach a bigger audience. We're actually live right now on our YouTube channel, uh, which we've got some episodes posted on our YouTube channel. So in case you're not um, on Facebook right now, if you're listening um, on your podcast and you don't have Facebook, because usually our videos are on Facebook, now you can go to YouTube and watch that on YouTube. You can also go to Instagram, yeah, Instagram, IGTV, our, our, um, we're posted there. And then we're on Twitter, some, um, we mostly just retweet Kamala Harris <laughs> and Mina Harris on Twitter. But <laughs> so good. It's so, going to be a Kamala takeover from here until the election, I think. Yeah. She doesn't need to know about it, but it's fine. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Maybe she'll be a guest on the pod too. And maybe we. Oh my God. Big, big dreams. Dream big, guys. We are going to be interviewing a couple women from the Biden campaign also. Um, So we're excited to talk to them too, um, to give us more encouragement and more ways to get involved because we're almost there, people. We're, what, 70 something days away from the election. So. we're getting close. So look out for uh, ways to get involved. We're going to, um, we're going to, uh, you know, try to come up with creative ways that um, everybody can kind of help out. So um, yeah. It's very exciting. It's a big day. I know. I'll, I'll save one for you, Rachel, just for you. And we've got fans watching from France. Apparently that's good. That's kind of cool. Oh, um, hi. From- this is all very exciting. That is very and- exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. We'll Kamala, we're so excited. Nancy Larson. Yes. 
so excited about that. She's got like a real chance. I mean, yeah. The guy who's running against Derek Marin is the actual worst. He's awful. He's so worst. I'm excited he to hear from Nancy. He's the heartbeat bill. He is a slum lord. He yeah. is a terrible landlord. He was against the lead law too. Remember like what the hell? Oh. Ugh, the worst. So yeah, she's um, she's a good person we can throw our support behind too. And if you're a member of Girls Girls, if you're in the Girls Girls community, well, first of all, if you're not, you should go to girlsgirlscommunity.com and sign up. <laughs> Um, but Girls yep. Girls is um, the podcast network that we're on. And um, Girls Girls podcast is a great podcast to listen to. Obviously, uh, Meredith and Brittany are hilarious. But hilarious. if you're in the Facebook group, the very cool Facebook group, you'll um, know that Brie is also running. Brie Godfrey is also running for um, a township trustee, right? Township trustee? Uh, township. Yeah. I and can't better. remember what they call it, but we're going to have her on the show also. And there's a couple other girls and girls, girls that are running for office too. So we'll have them on to hear from them and see how we can um, help support them in the next 70 something days. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So exciting. I can't yeah. wait for my vacation that starts right now. <laughs> I know. Thanks for doing this real quick. Cause I know you're out of here. I was actually making a post about like, sorry, uh, we're on summer break. We'll have a yeah. new episode next week. And then I saw the, all the alerts come in about Kamala. And I was like, Sky, can you just jump on real quick so we can go live really fast? Just I came super- home literally like uh, I came around the corner. David sitting on the back deck with my party hat. <laughs> <laughs> I, when you said yes, you could do it. I was like, okay, let me slap on some mascara. Let's do this real quick and knock it out. But we couldn't not say anything because this is super exciting so and excited. historic moment. And um yeah, can't wait to can't wait to get out and vote for Kamala. Except you don't really vote for Kamala; you vote for Biden. But whatever. But we're all voting for. I'm Kamala. voting for Kamala. <laughs> yeah. Be real. <laughs> okay. Well, thank okay. you for joining us, everybody. Um, who, who people who are in our Facebook comments? And yeah. Our comments. Thanks for joining. Um, we'll be back again next week for a full episode of We've Got Issues, Girl. Um, don't forget to like rate, review, subscribe, um, on whatever podcast, um, you know, app you listen to us on. Also share us on your social media too. Um, that also, um, gives us a little boost. If you share us on Instagram or Facebook, um, subscribe on YouTube now because we're YouTube stars. Um, yeah. And then look out for a couple posts tomorrow about our, um, 60 day action plan. I'm super excited about it. I've been working really hard on it. So, um, it should be, it's gonna be good. It should be good, good stuff. So, bye, Sky. I'm gonna miss you so much. Bye. And I can meet friend. Oh my god, text me every hour, please. I will not probably, but I love you deeply. So, I love you. <laughs> bye, have fun. I bye, know. everybody. Bye.